What's up, fellow Earthlings? How's it going? Richard. What's up? Why am I in the back seat of your truck right now at uh, 7 in the morning? Well, you see, Austin, we have a work truck, but it's broke down right now, so we're towing a big trailer with my F-150. I'm just kidding. Check it out, guys. Just trailer. <laughs> no, we're actually on our way to Home Depot because we have to rent a truck today to pull our trailer. Yes. Renting a truck, guys, from Home Depot, an F-250, so that we can get our jobs done today. Three trucks down. Three! I just can't <laughs> believe it. But we're headed to Home Depot to get an F-250 so that we can pull our trailer. The trailer is currently charging because obviously this F-250 is not going to have a charging cable for our batteries. We don't want to die out in the field so uh, we're charging it while we're picking it up and it should be fully charged uh, for them to get through the day at least. Two drop offs of dumpsters today and also a junk removal at the end of the day. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> you didn't know what to do. <laughs> Okay guys, so we were just inside and uh, they had to they had to get everything checked out with uh, Richard and check his insurance and everything because he's the one driving the truck and, and we came out and this right here this F1 or F250 is what we uh, are renting but we followed the lady out she's like all right and she starts walking towards this truck over here this little mini van truck thing. <laughs> And we're like, uh, no, we need, we need this one. We need this one. Yeah. She's like, oh, oh, God. So they ran back inside real quick, and they're going to fix that problem. And we should be on our way. Got to do what you got to do, guys. All right, so here's the Home Depot truck pulling Let It Go junk removal. First time I've ever done this, guys. Ever had to do this. Really uh, never had to do this before. So it's kind of crazy to me. But there it is. Let me explain to you guys what we just had to do. Okay, so you see this piece right here? It's actually still kind of warm. You see how it's melted and everything like that? Yeah, I literally had to cut, let me see if this piece is hot. Ooh, it's still kind of warm too. This uh, is one of those locks. You see the melted metal in there? It's one of those locks that lock your hitch on. So what home depot had in their truck was a regular hitch inside of the uh, new wider hitch mount which is a, a wide square um so what you have to do is get an adapter and then put your hitch in there but i don't know if it was home depot or the last person that rented the truck they had just the hitch in there so it had a lot of a wiggle room you can easily uh, wreck your trailer by fishtailing like that so guys we had to cut that off because it was locked then we had to go get the spacer off my GMC, and I just lost my keys on the GMC, so it's, it's crazy. And so I have a lock on that. They had to cut that one off at the shop because I don't have my keys. And uh, Richard just made it back here, and there they are headed out to finally go do our two dumpster drop-offs of the day. So that's what we're having to deal with right now, guys. It's crazy. All three trucks down. Even when we do rent a truck, we have to deal with cutting locks off, getting the adapter to fit, and making sure we're riding around safely in this truck. It's just wild to me. So anyways, guys, I really appreciate you watching these videos. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Help support my channel. And, uh, and, and yeah, guys, that's, that's what you can do for me. We need to get this truck fixed. Okay, so I forgot to give the guys the camera to record their day with the Home Depot truck. But everything went smoothly after we got the right hitch on there. We didn't have a plug to actually have lights on the back of the trailer. So we just went out hoping that we don't get pulled over. 
So they got back smoothly with the Home Depot truck. We were able to get our jobs out of the way. And actually this is the next day I'm recording. Um, I have another video that's gonna be coming out at the end of the day today. I'm trying to catch up with videos because I've been slacking a little bit because of all the problems we've been having. We're using a Home Depot truck, guys, to get our jobs done. That is determination. So you have to have that same type of determination if you're gonna own a business because you never know when shit's gonna happen. Um, we're handling it, we're getting her done, we're getting the jobs done that we have. Today they're out doing two clean outs and they'll be recording that. So that'll be the next video I put up is two clean outs that Richard and Manny are working on uh, getting done with the trailer and also the uh, Home Depot truck pulling that trailer. So yeah, I wish I could be out there helping them Currently, the mechanic's working on the business truck, the business class M2 Freightliner, and uh, we're hoping that we don't have to re replace the compressor already, but that may be what we have to do. Uh, we drain the tanks every day. I've had a couple of people tell me, you know, drain your tanks every day, and yes, we do that. We drain our tanks every day, um, but I just think it's uh, it was just something that had to happen. And I'm glad it happened during a slow time because we're gonna get we're gonna get super busy in uh, in January. We're, it's starting to show right now the busyness. A lot of return customers. Everybody's getting their taxes, their tax returns, and uh, and they'll be spending that money on cleaning up. So yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you once again for watching Let It Go Junk Removal with Austin Lee Hires. Hit that like button guys. Hit that like button for me right down below. It's uh, it's a button that looks like this. Thumbs up down below. I need a hundred thumbs up on each video so that I can uh, continue to boost this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for helping me to get there and uh, watching the video to the very end. Comment down below if you made it to the very end and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.